Just days before the Maryland Supreme Court hears his case, we are hearing from Adnan Syed as he fights to clear his name. Hello, everyone. I'm Vic Carter. And I'm Denise Koch. Welcome to those of you watching on CBS News Baltimore and on WJZ TV. Syed's case, of course, gaining international attention after the podcast serial exposed problems with his conviction. Now, for the first time, he's outlining what went wrong and claiming the justice system failed him. WJC investigator Mike Kelgren is live in Catesville where he spoke to Syed earlier today. Mike. Vic, Denise, we have never heard from him like this. Saeed spoke for almost three hours from the basement of his parents' home here in Catonsville. He prepared a 93-page document outlining many of those issues in his case that he says are preventing him from getting justice and also preventing Heyman Lee's family from getting justice. We're fortunate to have people who, who care deeply for who, um, who care about our family. An emotional Adnan Saeed called on the Maryland Attorney General to investigate allegations. Two former prosecutors acted inappropriately, and he claims interfered in the murder case against him. To essentially report a crime, to present a series of information to say, you know, respectfully, sir, our rights were violated. We're asking that you please investigate it. Saeed was released from prison one year ago for the 1999 murder of his Woodlawn High School classmate, Heyman Lee. His life sentence vacated at the time. But a Maryland appellate court reinstated the conviction on the grounds Lee's family was not given appropriate notice. In two weeks, Maryland's Supreme Court will decide whether to send Saeed back to prison or again throw out his conviction. How do you prepare yourself mentally for the possibility that you may have to go back to prison. I know I had nothing to do with Hayes' murder, that I'm absolutely an innocent person, and I've always fought hard, and we've always fought hard, to find justice for Hay and to prove who is responsible for it. So I would keep my faith in that, and that's what's held me intact for all these years. Saeed claims a former prosecutor in the Attorney General's office, who's now a Baltimore County judge, overreached and helped secure a lawyer for the Lee family last year. My younger brother, when he was little, he would tell me, man, I heard mom crying last night because every single day is a nightmare for her. So this idea that's being put forward that this hearing was held despite Hayes' family and despite Young Lee is completely false. Because, and no one would consider that perhaps the reason why this hearing was held quickly was because to respect my family and their suffering. Saeed also says prosecutors withheld information that someone else threatened to kill Lee, which former state's attorney Marilyn Mosby's office revealed last year. He claims once he regained his freedom, a former prosecutor then leaked information to discredit that threat. We have the utmost respect for Hay's family and for everything that they want to do to get justice for Hay. And we feel this way because we've always wanted justice for Hay. We've always wanted justice for our family. Now, Saeed first went to prison when he was 17 years old. He spent most of his life there. He did not get the answer he wanted from the Attorney General's office. We heard back from them tonight, and they say they do not have the authority to investigate prosecutorial misconduct, and they declined to comment further, citing pending litigation. Reporting live in Catonsville, Mike Helgren, WJZ.